Most of us are familiar with this style of potato peeler. My mom called it the American dream, dream that it always worked. When it didn't work, what'd she do? Threw it away, buy a new one. You see, they don't hold their edge. She'd also revert to a paring knife for the work. But the Swiss Pro Peeler is the standard designed for professional chefs and is a standard used in Europe for over 50 years. Like all fine cutlery, wash it, rinse it, towel dry it. No dishwasher, please. Comes with a guarantee. If you ever damage it, even if it's your fault, we'll replace it. Now the blade only works in one direction. It only works in one way, the right way. Place it on the carrot, two fingers, and pull. Right-handed, left-handed, it makes no difference. It works either way. It'll even work underhanded. Now, this is the way my mom would peel a potato. Start on one side, flip it over, the other side, she'd always revert to what I called Old Faithful, the good old paring knife. Wouldn't it be a pleasure each time that you touched it, you peeled it, quicker, faster, and easier? You see one finger in any direction. The top and bottom two, the same exact way. Now the hook on the end, that is for your eyes or rotten spots. Use that hook also to channel your vegetables. Take the hook right across Mr. Potato Head 2. Use it also to create potato sticks or potato fries the same way. The handle commercial stainless steel, not plastic or aluminum, designed as well for people with arthritis who have difficulty using either one of these tools. Now, what makes it different from all the rest is when you place it on the counter, no more peeler. You now have this world's smallest slicer. Home fries, cottage fries, potato chips, or raw fries. You cook them up this way, they're delightful. What about the little skinny ones that happen to slip right through? You know what? Don't throw them away. Set your pro peeler on the counter, brush it against the bar, makes a perfect slice every time. This is great for soups or salads too. Stingy people love it. One carrot can last you all winter long this way. Now, what about an apple? Everyone knows an apple a day keeps the doctor away. You see, not everyone can chew the skin of the apple rind too. Remember this one? $34.95. Sold lots of them too. But how about an orange, a lemon, a lime, a peach, a mango, a kiwi. When you touch it, you peel it. Now use it as a zester. Lemon rind, orange rind, the same exact way. Great for baking. How about a nightmare vegetable like a butternut squash? My dad would actually saw it in half. You see, the skin of the butternut is extremely fibrous, like wood. It snaps every time. Now, another nightmare vegetable is something loaded with wax, like a rutabaga or a wax turnip. The Swiss Pro Peeler peels it every time. When you touch it, you peel it. Everyone peels cucumbers. You know why? The skin is loaded with wax, especially in the wintertime. Wouldn't it be a pleasure that when you touched it, you peeled it, the skin, and nothing but the skin go all the way around? Now, when working on a zucchini, the first one peels, the next slices. This is something no professional chef can do with a conventional knife. If you do any stir frying or you steam your vegetable, it's excellent ribbons the same exact way. Use your Swiss Pro to peel the carrot. What would you or I normally do? Cut the end off with a knife. It's in your hand, the peeler. Use it to cut the end off. Now, that hook or side knife, use it to channel your vegetables or create vegetable sticks. Carrot sticks, beet sticks, zucchini or cucumber, perfect for dip. Now, use it as a slicer as well to create these fancy puzzle slices. When you have guests alike like coming over for dinner, give them the fancy puzzle slices. 
The more you use the Swiss Pro, the sharper the blade becomes. Like I said, it only works in one direction. It does not work in this other direction. It has a self-honing blade. The more you use it, the sharper it will become. Now, these carrot strips are great if you put them in some ice water to curl it up, or if you wanna make shreds, put them all back together. Now, this is an excellent topping for on top of a salad. It makes great carrot shreds this way. Now, remember, the great thing about using a tool is it shreds the vegetable, not you, just the vegetable. You can also use it to create coleslaw. Use your chef's knife to cut the head in half, but leave the core on. Take the Swiss Pro, run it on the edge, and you can make your shreds of cabbage. You can use it on head lettuce, like iceberg, the same exact way, to create your shredded lettuce. Excellent toppings for sandwiches as well. Use the Swiss Pro, instead of traditionally peeling your tomato, use the Swiss Pro peeler. Run it on the outside. Just give a little wiggle, go all the way around. This is great for any soup, stew, or sauce that you're making that calls for peeled tomatoes. You don't need to blanch them, which is placing them in boiling hot water and then trying to peel it. You see, the skin comes right off. Now, don't throw the skin away. It makes an excellent flour for a 4th of July picnic, family get together, or a happy occasion. You wanna make something nice for your guests, just use the skin and you make a beautiful flour this way. Makes a great garnish for the side of any platter. And there's your Swiss Pro Peeler. Let me show you the Swiss Pro on a lot of different vegetables because it's amazing, it's versatility. Let me show you on a sweet potato. Makes no difference whether it's an Idaho baking potato, yam, or sweet potato. Like I told you, any direction, the tool works. Let me show you on the zucchini. Again, you touch it, you peel it, the skin of the zucchini. Whether you peel towards you, away from you, right-handed or left-handed, it makes no difference. You'll get a perfect peel every time. Now, whether it's a mango, a peach, kiwi, or nectarine. That was a nectarine. Let me show you a peach. Use the same technique, go all the way around. The same as I showed you an orange. You just the peel. Now this is great for like peach cobblers. Here's a plum, the same exact way. Peel the skin and nothing but the skin. A mango. Mangoes, papayas go all the way around. When you touch it, you peel it. Makes no difference, hard or soft. Here's an apple. Red delicious, golden delicious, Granny Smith. Great for apple pies. A kiwi is one of my favorite. Difficult to peel, not with a Swiss Pro. When you touch it, you peel it, just give a little wiggle. It takes the skin and nothing but the skin. Now, a butternut squash. Again, a nightmare vegetable. Cause it's so fibrous. The skin is like wood, just run it to peel the same exact way. Now, this is another nightmare, the yucca. Use it to peel the skin, and the Swiss Pro goes through it like a breeze. Absolutely fantastic. Pumpkins, watermelons, the same exact way. Here's a wax turnip or rutabaga. I like mashed rutabagas, as a matter of fact. Use the Swiss Pro to peel the entire skin off the rutabaga. Here's a potato. One finger in any direction. Here's an apple. Granny Smith, Red Delicious, it makes no difference. Cucumbers, everyone peels cucumbers. You touch it, you peel it the same exact way, each and every time. Carrots, of course, works beautifully. Any direction, whether you peel it towards you or away from you, the more you use the Swiss Pro, the sharper it becomes. Squash does an excellent job on summer squashes or gourds the same way, and of course a tomato. Just go all the way around, just give a little wiggle. That's how you perfectly peel the tomato each and every time. No need to blanch it. 
harder soft cheese. I love it on cheese. Here's Parmesan. Parmesan, Romano, the same exact way. You can even make your shreds, your shredded cheese that way. I like this on top of my spaghetti or baked ziti. Here's some provolone. Use it to slice the cheese. Hard or soft, it makes no difference. Now, I'm gonna show you on a softer cheese. Here's cheddar cheese, the same exact way. Excellent for your cheese or cheese slices. I like to use it for baking as well. Now again, here's some Romano. You'll make a perfect slice every time. Lemons, limes, oranges, any citrus, even a grapefruit. Use it for baking for the rind as well. Here's an eggplant for your baked plant Parmesan. If you've ever tried to peel this with a knife or with a traditional peeler, it's a nightmare. The Swiss Pro goes through it like a hot knife through butter, just the skin. If you get to a point which is difficult, just give it a little wiggle. That will make the Swiss Pro glide right through it. When you have a vegetable that's hard on the outside, soft on the inside, use that technique. Now here's corn. Take the corn off the cob. Hold it. Again, I'm gonna use a bowl here so it's not quite so messy. Start underneath and just go. That'll take the corn kernels off the cob. Perfect for cream style corn. You'll do a bushel full in a matter of minutes. And I love doing it this way for then canning it when corn's in season, of course. Just go all the way around. This is how we make our great cream style corn with the Swiss Pro. One of the most versatile tools you'll ever put in your kitchen. Now, here's the Swiss Pro in action for some garnishing. That hook on the end or the eye remover, use that to channel your vegetables. That makes strips for zucchini or squash, like I'm showing you right here. Use it to go all the way around. Take those strips out. That's great, perfect for dip. Now, of course, you can do it on a zucchini as well. It's great to mix and match the colors. Yellow from the squash, green from the zucchini. Perfect for dip. Um, carrots, beet sticks, the same exact way. Everyone knows fresh fruits and vegetables are important for a healthy lifestyle. And when you can easily make your vegetable sticks like this, it's great to serve on the side of a platter. Now, a carrot the same exact way. Use the Swiss Pro to peel your carrot. Instead of a knife, it's in your hand, the peeler. Use that hook or side knife to again, channel your vegetables. Here it is with a carrot. Great carrot sticks. Now, create those fancy puzzle slices the same exact way. Whether it's with a carrot, you can use it with a zucchini. Even with the squash, the same exact way. Use your knife to make slices. Cut on an angle. Instead of just cutting your squash, your zucchini, your vegetables, use that side knife to create those channels. It gives that fancy puzzle look to each cut of your vegetables, and it's so easy to do, even with your carrots, the same exact way. When you cut that, put that in your soup or stew, you know, your company will go home talking about you. They may even say nice things this time. Again, with an orange or your lemon, lime, or citric slices, this is a great garnish. Um, for the side of a glass or a drink. I like doing it on lemons. Bartenders love the Swiss Pro. It's great for zesting. Now, let me show you the proper cleaning and care instructions for the Swiss Pro. Of course, rinse it, wash it, towel dry it. Like all fine cutlery, no dishwasher, please. If any oxidation should ever form on the Swiss Pro, just take out the blade, as I'm going to show you right now. It just pops right out. Just slightly press with your thumb and carefully take the blade out. The blade is rather sharp. Now, for periodic maintenance, what you do is clean off the blade, even use a little a bit of steel wool if any oxidation should ever occur on the blade. What I like to do periodically is just use a little vegetable oil. You can just pour some in a little bowl, or what I sometimes do is just put a little bit on a rag. Dip a sponge or rag in there, put it on the blade, 
I'll first put the blade back into the Swiss Pro peeler. Just put it on the right way and slightly um, rub the vegetable oil over the blade. For periodic maintenance, do that every uh, once a month. That'll keep your Swiss Pro working beautifully. That's the general care and maintenance for your Swiss Pro peeler. The Pro Slicer has the same blade as the Swiss Pro Peeler, but just twice as large. Twice as large and cuts in both directions. Now that's very important for your slicing because when vegetables are too big for the Swiss Pro, turn to the Pro Slicer. Now this is great to make home fries, cottage fries, potato chips the same way. Just run your vegetable over any thinner than this. They'd only have one side. And look how beautiful that comes out. Fry them up, put it in a skillet next to your eggs on a Sunday morning. Excellent hash browns. Now, use this to slice zucchini. Whether you stir fry, steam your vegetable, you see up it cuts, down it cuts. Cuts in both directions. That's great if you do any stir frying or steaming. Zucchini or squash the same way. How about cucumbers? Whether you like cucumbers in your salad or cucumber salad. The secret to great bread and butter pickles is how thin you can slice them. And look how beautifully and uniformly each slice is cut this way. If you'd like to peel your potato, use your Swiss Pro to first peel your potato. Top and bottom too, the same exact way. For potato chips, I like to first peel my potato, of course. Now just run the potato over the Pro Slicer and look at that. Look how uniform they come out of there. Beautiful, perfectly every time. Just fry them up and you have your potato chips or place them on a cookie sheet and you have no fried potato chips. Now coleslaw. If you just use the Pro Slicer for this, coleslaw, hot slaw, we have recipes on our website or on the DVD. You make perfect coleslaw every time. If you don't like coleslaw, use it with some lettuce. Head lettuce like iceberg. That's what I like to use on top of my sandwiches. Here's our pro paring knife. It has a very thin and flexible blade that's very important for your carving, and I'll show you why. Very thin, very flexible. This will not work with a standard or traditional paring knife. You see, the blade, it's like having a razor blade on a handle. One of the most useful additions you'll have to your kitchen, whether it's cucumbers, zucchinis, potatoes. 